It's Kate. Oh my god, Kate. Hi. Kate is not good. I wish David would Whoa. get off her crack, as Chloe would say. Shit, that, that's not sexual. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Yeah, no problem. I'm a badass. Anytime. That guy has issues. And he's a that's pussy. Everybody here. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Oh my god. Can you Geek girl conversation this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. Oh, is that it? I'll bring it by later. That sounds suspicious. I don't trust you. I think you're going to do more than just take notes. I think you need that book for something, don't you? Don't you? Tell me, Kate. Tell me now. After my shower, I'll bring her book back and that'll be a good excuse for us to chat. All right. Maybe fine. just talking with a friend will help her feel better. Yeah, maybe we can figure out what she's plotting with that book. I think it's something diabolical, and I want to be part of it. Ooh. Good thing there's no nudity in this. Or that would be a lot more work for me. Not work I want to do. <laughs> uh. What's up? Oh hey! School. That's it. That video yep. of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh boo hoo! I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Maybe she did. Like I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yeah. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. <laughs> we ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Hey, what about me? We had a th we had a thing going. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. <gasps> How I dare you! I'm so quirky, crap. <gasps> anyway, let's leave a link to Kate's video hey. so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. I comforted you. Evil biatch. I love it. My comfort was all for naught. <laughs> Ooh. But she's as devious as us, so I'll respect that. <laughs> I can respect that. As a fellow deviant. Fuck society. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. You have anything to say about that, Max? Alright. Poster. Oh, right. Okay, that's the tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Yep. What's this? Otter power? I'm so not there. Yeah, who wants to be an otter? Just be a shark. Kill everyone. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yeah, I suppose. Let's Water look at the faucet. Water is almost as good as a cup of strong tea when I'm in sleepy mode. No, 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 no. Water. Sorry. Yeah. I forgot. It's here. It's the bathroom. Water is in the bathroom. Bitch. Get over it. Pussy. All right. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, right, we're going back to change. Two can play at this game, Moriarty. 
They might not believe it, but they won't be sure. <laughs> Clever thinking, Max. Clever thinking. Uh. Oh. No fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. <sighs> Damn it, why do we have to do all the bitch work? We're, we should be the ones in charge here. Bunch of horse shit. No here. Mm. And nothing here. All right. What about here? Aha! Oh, oh God damn it, Max! You fucking do this every time. Fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. No, how am I gonna do this? I have no idea. I play this game about rewind, but uh, and, but when some a problem happens, I don't know how to fix it. Oh no, I gotta look for another way. Okay, fuck this bullshit. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> Uh... Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Alright, nice, nice. Damn soft drink. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. It was more just us, though. God damn it, Max. You gotta think more clearly when you do this shit. Just saying. Let's look at this my camera. This will capture this crazy historic moment in my life. What, you taking a picture of yourself? Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Max. Alright, um. Laptop. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Hey, Max, the doctor's in the house. Uh, actually, I know I'm not gonna read all this. Fuck it. Uh, he lists a bunch of movies, a bunch of time travel movies and shit. And yeah, so. Cool shit. Uh, Doctor Who? Yeah. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. That makes sense. Join the Chrononauts. Oh boy. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Well, that's why we're gonna take over the world, Max. We know something no one else does. I would say this is some crazy shit, but... Now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Mm, let's not expose ourselves. That wouldn't be and smart. I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Yeah, she's quite giddy about that. Let's see. Preppy bitch. Um. Right, let's get dressed. Maybe I'll what? just put on a shirt and jeans. I wonder what we're gonna hey, wear this I'm time. The same exact suit for every day oh day. my god, you who called it? Him. Same thing every time. Yeah, well Einstein Now I can finally do Yeah, we're better than that bitch, to be honest. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the <laughs> in the world now. Nice. Nice. Um Right. This totally reminds me of being a kid. Yeah, yeah, rebel, rebel, I get it. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. This looks like someone has it out for us. Ooh, hold on. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Oh, so it's Nathan, eh? Hmm. Oh, he's on our shit list. Don't worry about that. Man, this could almost uh, be I thought you were going to say something different, Why Max. So God damn it. Sick and disturbed. What happens if we play something now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Whoa. Why did I drag that way? Oh, hey. Keep your smart mouth sh keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. All right, bitch, I'm right here. Oh, I'm waiting. Shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats. It never ends. 
This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not already. Right, I was supposed to go see Kate. God damn it. Okay. I'm totally on track right now. You in there? Yes, I'm here. I'm in that. Here we go. Hmm. Nice somber room you have here. I likes it. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Well, he looks sad. It's not all positive. Uh. Tablet. Kate is all alone dealing with oh, this shit. video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Oh boy. Mom. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We will pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. I can't just change that <laughs> halfway through. All right. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Oh. Uh, let's see. Tissues. Ooh. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Or a lot of jizz. All right. Let's try to set that. Candles. Kate really has a doting father. Mm. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugging and love. So we seem to have, um, sort of a, I guess a, a juxtaposition here between the father and the mother. They're on pretty much opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of their relationship with Kate. So we'll keep that in mind. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Well, they're losers like her. What do you expect? That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Kate is a good mommy. <gasps> Jesus! Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Yeah, well... Wait, no, we're not. We're going to take over the world. I mean, however you want to interpret that. We don't have time for any of that shit over there. Ouch. She left out amnation. Oh, shit. Oh, great, we have another bitch in her family. Okay. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could prepare me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray for my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. How loving. <laughs> All right. I'm glad Kate's got a family, a good family. Good That Lord. really cares for her. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised after some of those letters are right. <laughs> All right. Photo. I almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Hmm. Church girl ain't smiling anymore. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Once uh, a happy-go-lucky church girl, Kate is now taking matters into her own hands in our new epic, uh, religious damnation. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. The Awakening. Coming to theaters soon. Uh, Leaflet. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip-up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with waiting. What was it? What was that? Maybe Hold Kate on. has a split personality. Church girl by day. Praise BGC. <laughs> BJC. <laughs> uh, all right. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. Hmm. 
Yeah, well. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Believe in nothing, Max. Just believe in yourself. And then and controlling the world all for yourself. Alright, let's read these. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. That sounds suicidal. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. That does not sound like my cup of tea. Alright. Um... That must be everything. Oh, a weight scaler. But we can't go stand on that one either. <sighs> Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because he's an asshole. And I hate him. And he likes dick in the ass. Uh, I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. Yeah, she said that. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're too, too much of a loser for that. There's no way. Uh... What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Oh, really? Well, should I? Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? What? Do you know how humiliating this is for me? Yeah, but it's I not you watching, it sucks, it's me. Kate, but tell me about the video I mean, be... and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Hmm. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red <laughs> wine. And then I drank water. Yeah, I'm sure that was water. Uh... Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. Okay, relax. I up at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Did somebody okay. drug you? It's fine. I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Oh. Nathan Prescott. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. Ooh. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white. Oh, that sounds... Right. Go on. <laughs> I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. Like this? I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting. Oh, Max is smiling. <laughs> and... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up? Why? No, I'm just being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Hmm. I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? Well, I unless I take over the world, Kate, Kate, I don't think there's gonna be a way. We'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Yeah. Come back to me Thanks, when I Max. take over the world, as I said. Bag. How about I don't? How about maybe maybe I want that book? You know, you never hey, you never told me why you were gonna use that book, eh? Tell me. 
Jesus, this is intense. If Kate wasn't out of it and is actually telling the truth. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please Can I ask you one? Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me. Oh, I'm I'm dead sure he's guilty. <laughs> no need to Should ask I that. Go to the police? Oh. Right, so, with this choice, you see, the thing is, is that we could go to the police, but, um, well, well, the thing is, is that we don't really have any evidence that Nathan drugged her, or whatever, and the video that shows Kate, in fact, doesn't really help her out, because it shows her doing all that partying shit, probably. So, you know, it, it probably wouldn't be... It'd probably comfort her more, but it probably wouldn't be for the best if we chose police. Uh, you know, uh, logically speaking, or whatever. So, look for proof. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. Like, like so what? So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. We got plenty of time. Remember, we're the Good time job, master. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yep. Jesus. This okay, okay, is okay. Intense. I was hoping it might be something different. Kate wasn't or mine. out of it and is oh. actually telling the truth. Mm. Let me just do a quick perusal. Whoa. Okay, I got stuck. <laughs> Wait. Postcard. Yeah. Wait. Yeah? Kate really has a doting father. Right. Okay, we didn't look at this, though. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Well, as you said, Max, this is some serious shit. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. Our way. Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, look. Now Juliet's in here. What does she have to say now? Juliet has no clue how much this is hurting Kate. Well, we kind of spoke to her about that, didn't we? Excuse me. I'm texting Zach. Well, excuse you, I don't care. I'm not watching the video, Max. Good. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. No. I'm not watching the video, Max. Yeah, only watch it if I say so. It's the only way you can do it. Let's talk later, Max. Alright, fine, you're still gonna be a bitch to me. I'm out of here. See you later, losers. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Hey, look, it's Warren. You can see him on the bottom right. Looking like an idiot. <gasps> Samuel. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Before we talk to Samuel, let's just look around a bit. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? But I could use this to attract squirrels. Ooh. Release the Kraken. <laughs> Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, boy. All right, let's be, let's be gentle about this. Back away. Yeah, we got you, bitch. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. 
All right, yeah. All right, let's look at that. And there's a squirrel. We got the bunny. We took a lot of pictures of animals today. Well, two. Okay, we got a few more pages. Let's just I'm gonna try to keep a track of these. So that this, this, that. Ooh, Victoria. Interesting. And that with Kate. Kate and her sad, sad story. Alright. Let's look here. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident. And too easy to sneak into. Yeah, we just did it. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Ooh, Sammy stuff. <laughs> I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? I'm sure he needs this stuff for some something else. If you get what I'm saying. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Why not? It was fun. I had to spray water on people. It's a fun time. All right, Vince Gilligan, let's talk to you now. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do <laughs> love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Yeah. Yeah. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always yeah, come like every other forest. For food, I can hear them whisper. Oh. And what animals do you see in the forest? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh. That's your spirit. Animal. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. There, except you saw yours. I see. You decide about your destiny. Ah. What do I know? My spirit animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Squirrels don't know anything. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says well pry. Hey. Now everybody wants to know. That's about fine. What'd you say? Okay, whatever. I can pry all I want, bitch. Uh, so did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg. A good she egg, you say. Oh, Interesting wording here. To the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I do. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. You sound like you have more than one thing on your hands. Of course you will. <laughs> All right, Samuel. See you later. Wait. Take care, Max. And keep listening to the animals. All right, buddy. I will. Don't worry. Ah, there's Samuel. Up early. Already communing with the critters. Just take your morning pill. We'll be fine. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Alright, see, what does this bitch have to say? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Uh -oh. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Well, you will have to be soon. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. Yeah, don't You're make funny. me bitch slap you. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Yeah, you probably got ditched out by your posse because you're a loser. Yeah, that's right. I, I said it. Uh... Victoria. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. 
And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. Wait. She's one of the best friends you How is being bossy? How is that? Wait, how does being bossy make her not mean? Or whatever. He said that almost like it was a contradictory statement. Alright. Uh. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Well, I'm just gonna do this, bitch. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, huh? Haha! <laughs> yeah, let's see what you have to say now. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Fuck you. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back. I surgery. don't, but you know. Victoria was there for me, like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. That was a very quick talk. Man, it was very easy to get you liking me. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. Wasn't we much of a talk at all, actually. See you later. All right. Sounds cool, well, I guess. That conversation didn't suck. Give peace a chance. I guess so. All right, let's go talk to our little slave boy. What? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Very polite. Max, Very polite. Come on over here. God, he always wants to, like, fucking yell at us. Warren's Jesus. Warren's out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting like for somebody. Like, we're coming for you, man. Don't worry. And, by the way, he's waiting for you, I'm pretty sure, Max. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, okay. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Alright, I'll give you a beat. Uh... Those aren't very good beats, but okay. That was intense. Everything happened so fast... I owe you. All right, bring it oh, down, Warren. Yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday. Hero. That did not rhyme you at all. To a bully and it You're was an idiot. Awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl. That's true. We did do that. <laughs> How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I was just jealous, because we're better than him. And we're going to own his ass. Later. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Yeah, I don't need talking Principal about it Wells now. Is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, oh, you're not gonna talk about that? All right. Seventies Planet of the Apes marathon. Thought you were the science man here. Ape. Yeah, why not? Yes, that's exactly. Wait, what uh, whatever. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> I'll text you the info. Thought that was gonna be a process, in you? I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Okay, yeah, fuck that bitch. I'd Warren's do anything to spite her. Too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Stupid Asian whore. 